right so we moved on to another spot this is the Tres Rios uh, Salt River side this is the side of the Salt River it's a beautiful channel you can see right there they cleaned up the uh, water lilies used to be inundated with water lilies here but it looks good today a lot of clearance so let's check it out see if we can catch anything I'm still using that uh, power crawl from Berkeley so let's check it out look at that beautiful beautiful channel <clears throat> right on the river A lot of dirt though. Some people just throw trash everywhere. Disgusting. Right, so there we is. We finally caught one on the crawdad right there. Right in front of me. Small. Baby. Baby large mouth. But we got one. We're not zilch. There she is, right there. See, on that, uh, what do you call that? Dark blue crawdad with a little bit of chartreuse zip. Caught ourselves our first large mount with it. Nice one. All right, so let's do that again. That was fun. He barely tapped it too. It was very light, very light. We got him though, right in front. Right in front, right there. Billy Captain coming back, just right there. Do that again. If you notice, we got ourselves a good spot because as the channel runs along right there, you see the uh, ripple on the water right there on that spot. So it does form like an eddy right to where we're at. And hopefully these are, uh, this is the spot where the fish would normally uh, go to to try and catch some bait or some meal on that eddy. And I can feel structure in the bottom because I'm letting this uh, power crawl drag in the bottom, let the channel kind of, you know, move it along the uh, river and that's how I got that uh, bass to bite right in front of me right here in the bottom so I think this is a good spot so we got one so far so it looks like the uh, the bite on the cross finally uh, settled down so and I have to change bait. Thinking of my uh, Berkeley uh, Power Worm, the uh, peanut butter color. So we're just reeling this back in. And then we're going to change bait. And the way I got it set up is uh, all weightless today. Because I want the uh, river channel to just kind of drag the bait in the bottom so that it moves. So let's reel this back in, then change up. All right, so we're changing our bait to this one. The uh, Power Worm. It looks like peanut butter color to me, so. There she is. Nice. Nice color right there. You can see. So I'm going to dip the tail with our chartreuse uh, dip. I'm going to save this uh, power craft for later. Always save your lure or bait if you can. I don't know if you notice, they're not biodegradable. So, Like I said, my setup is like so, weightless.
do about the second uh, rib feed it all the way through all right and the way I'm gonna do that is feed right there so it's straight there we have got that set up so it feeds straight and this is our magic dip now if you can see dip and glow so it glows just a little bit of the tail right there nice little sauce yeah you can see all right let it dry up a little bit all right that seems to be all dried up now this is our setup you can see right there yeah we're ready to go All right, see what this one will net us. And I'm gonna just let it drop into the bottom and let the uh, channel kind of move it all along the river. And we'll wait, see what bites. All right, so right now the way I'm working this worm is I'm letting it sit in the bottom and then uh, let the river kind of move it along or the channel move it along. And then after about 20 seconds, I'll reel once, you know, and repeat the process every so often just to try and search for those fish. See? So I'm going to throw it to where that eddy is forming right in front of me. That's how I would read this river, right there. Let it sink in the bottom. Then put a little tension on the line. Reel once or twice. And then sit for 20 seconds. And repeat the process until we get something. That's how, how, how I would search for a bite on the bass. So, little tip for everybody, just how to read the river channel to work the river channel. I'll find you the eddy so that it'll move your bait or your lure. 